tuning in to Nizzy's Playhouse. It's your girl Nizzy and I'm back again. I got some PR that was sent to me through Zanzi Beauty Cosmetics. So I'm here to share everything that I have with you guys and we can see is it worth your coin. Um, so a little bit about Zanzi Beauty. Um, it is a black owned cosmetics line. Um, so that's why I'm so excited and like it like the packaging everything is just like you can tell that it is a black owned business. And so they reached out to me. I was like, hey girl, um, we want to send you some items to review. Um, and I was like, and I was like, heck yeah, girl, let's go ahead and do it. Um, so with today's look, I'm gonna be creating a look using their Zuri, using their Zanzi Beauty Zuri eyeshadow palette. Um, so let me show you guys. Are you ready? This is the packaging right here. Ooh, y'all ready? Wait, I cheated. Let me take the film off. <laughs> Boom, baby. Look at those colors. Like, oh my goodness. And you four um, matte transition shades across the top. And then, like, everything else is shimmer except this yellow, which is matte also. Um, so, also, they sent me some liquid lipsticks that I will be um, using, reviewing later on. Um, all, as well as um, some foundations. And then what they do is they send you a sample pack so that you, a sample pack of different colors so that you know which colors to use. Um, so I will be busting these packets open here shortly. Um, but yeah, if you ain't doing so already, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Let me know you rocking with your girl in this YouTube journey. So right now, as you can see, I have my base set and everything, eyebrows done. Uh, it's just time to apply the eyeshadow. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna take this Berry Bay color on this brush and pack that right on my crease. Um, I was expecting this red to be a little bit more pigmented because as you can see, it's, um, So now that that red is set, I'm gonna go in with this color right here. This kind of orange, matty color. This is called Coral Queen. So let's see what that do. And I'm just gonna, oops, I'm just gonna blend out the edges. There's a little bit of fallout, which is okay with these pigmented colors. That's all right. So the colors do blend very well, I will say that. I'm going in with this color right here, and I tried to clean the red off the brush, but it kind of stained it a bit, but that's all right. Um, but I'm going in with this color right here to deepen the crease. This color is called Deep Desire. So that definitely deepened up the crease right there. Nice. That's a good shade as well. As well. All right, so going ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Right. This is in the lightest that they have, which is Fair 02, I believe. So um, I'm gonna use this Crescent Shaped Brush. color on that lid so of course you know I had to use the yellow so I want to see what that do so I'm gonna use this yellow color right here right there and that is sensual saffron so I'm gonna try this this orange coral color to see what it looks like on the lid Okay, so 
It came out hella dope. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in with the liquid lipstick that they have here and put a pretty eyeliner. So this is the color here. Um, it's called Electra and it's a liquid metallic lipstick. I can't be seeing what I'm doing half the time. This is it. Like, isn't this so pretty? Like, you can kind of see it's metallic. So I'm gonna go in and put, do a um, a wing. Whoops, a wing with this color. A wing a wop. So, none of those worked for me, um, and they all kind of look kind of ashy if you ask me, um, I don't know, I mean, I, I know there's people that are this skin tone, but it's not me, um, or maybe I need to try, um, again, because these are very dark. So, I mean, if you are dark skin, you know, please check this brand out. But as far as foundation, I will not be using that in this video for my face. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and finish beating my face. Um, and then I will be right back to show you guys the matte lipstick that they have. And then my fucking honest opinion review on the brand as a whole. So, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm getting ready to try the liquid lipstick. This is a matte shade and it's in the color Boss Brown. Um, so I'm going in with my eyebrow pencil. I always use this as a liner, like why not? And I'm just gonna line my lips. And what I have learned recently is that overlining your lips, oh, it makes you like, ooh, you'll see. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this out. Pretty caramel color. I'm gonna put it next to the blue that I tried for you guys. Very pretty. So let's go ahead and try it. Okay, so my honest thoughts and opinions on the Zanzi Beauty Cosmetics line. I absolutely love the eyeshadow, like some of the shades looked like they were not going to be pigmented but they actually were and so i actually liked the colors that are on the palette as well as the consistency because it goes on buttery um you can build it up and it is uh blendable so um i do recommend that palette as far as the foundations um again none of these shades matched my skin tone and that's um a little upsetting but like I said I might not have picked the right shades for me um so I will be contacting I will be contacting them again to see if I can get some additional shades so that I can actually match my skin tone and we'll go from there I'll let you guys know about that um but as far as the liquid lipsticks I am super impressed because for one I used the metallic as a lip liner and like it looks really good and for two, I used um, the, the brown lipstick. I had been looking for a brown, and this one is actually like popping, sis. Like, oh my god. Like, I absolutely love the liquid lipsticks, and I definitely will be trying the other shades that they have. Um, maybe I'll do a lip swatch haul for you guys. Let me know if that's something that you want to see down below. Let your girl know. But overall, I am. I am very impressed with Zanzi Beauty, especially for being a black owned business. They were very professional. Um, they Their packaging was great. Everything about this product was A1, like amazing. Like So yes, make sure you guys check them out. I'll leave the link down below on where you can purchase these products. And let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, any of that. I'm here to help you out, sis. And as always, thanks for watching. I wish I was a normal girl.